We must be strong in these troubling times. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. No intro today. I'm ditching the intro. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people liked it though, so I don't know. I'll work on something else. Maybe I'll come up with something else a little bit different. But anyway, here we are in the video. All right, so one thing of note I want to I want to say before I get into the video is a lot of people, I get comments saying, oh, don't go, you know, fear-based stuff, you know, like other channels and stuff like that. But I got to be honest with you. If you guys want real preparedness information, videos, which I would love to do, that's what I would love to do, then watch them. <laughs> yes, watch them. Because the other videos get all the views. The real videos that give you real, tangible, useful information to actually be prepared don't get a tenth of the views that the others do. So if you want that, which is what I would much prefer to put out here, then watch the videos. We need to reach people. We need to get people in a preparedness fold. So if I can do that with really good, solid advice, I'd much prefer that anyway. And before I start the video, I think it's going to be a good video. Um, please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell for all, hit that thumbs up, share the videos, comment below, you know, all the things that really helps us reach more people, grow the community, build more assets, fewer liabilities out there coming for your food, my food, etc. Okay, so what am I getting at with the topic of this video? Um, basically, what I'm talking about, and like I'm saying, please watch the video, this is good information. Fitness, and not just fitness, but your overall health. If you're unhealthy, if you are sick, you cannot be, you cannot function. You'll be in bed. You got to be strong. We have to be able to do what we need to do in these troubling times, in these times that are getting worse and worse and worse. We have to be strong. So I'm going to talk about um, some really good things that will help you stay as healthy as possible. These are all natural. None of these are... Um, any kind of like big pharma stuff. I don't like that kind of stuff. Is there a place for it? Yes, there is a place for it. But, and also, got a new hat. Opened it today. My mom made it for me. Really cool. But it's it's uh, it's like 70, 75% merino wool. So it's uh, actually warm. It's really nice. So um, I know my mom doesn't watch the videos, but thank you, mom, if you are. Um, okay, so... What are some most important things to keep yourself self healthy? I already mentioned one, fitness. If you're working out and exercising, moving your body, building strength, it helps boost your immune system and helps make you overall healthier. Next one is hydrate. I mean, some of these are really simple. There's some good ones in here too, though, that you may not have thought about. So stay tuned. Don't just tune it out. Um, hydration. You, your body has to have water. You know that when you're sick, you're supposed to hydrate a bunch, drink lots of water all the time, not just when you're sick. Um, another thing is, which some places, and especially here in Western Washington, um, now at this time of year is of short supply, but that's sun. Because when you're out in the sun, it triggers your body to make vitamin D, which is really good vitamin for your body, for overall function, for lots of different reasons. I'm not gonna go into the weeds on that, but get out in the sun, and the fresh air helps also. Um, Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm covering the basic, simple ones first. Then we're going to get into the really good ones, I think, with saving the best for last. So stay tuned. The best for last is our family favorite. Um, so the next one is healthy, whole, natural foods. As God intended it. Not pizza, macaroni and cheese, you know, all the boxed foods, all the processed crap. Um, that's fine to eat sometimes. No, don't get me wrong. But as close to the earth as possible. Healthy meats, eggs, um, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. All the things that get to your plate and get to your, um, your skillet, your pan, just the way God put them here. That's the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to get into some supplements, natural supplements that help also. But first, it's not actually a supplement that helps with anything um, immune-related. With the exception of, also, first I got to give the uh, little disclaimer here. I'm not a doctor. 
Um, what I'm saying here is for informational purposes only, it um, are things that might help your immune system. You can't say they can help because then Big Pharma will come crush us down and slam us and shut us down, demonetize us and all that kind of stuff like that. So they might help. Okay, first one is helping with the absorption of these good um, minerals um, and vitamins that your body is taking. It comes from black pepper, black pepper extract. It's called bioparine. It helps your body, the cells in your body, absorb all these good nutrients. So some supplements, good quality supplements, come with bioparine in them already so that your body can absorb them, but some don't. Um, if it's just a supplement, like the next one I'll talk about, really I'll mention here and then I'll talk about it more, is zinc or any of the other vitamins or minerals. They don't, it's just pure what it is. It should be, if you're getting good quality. Um, bioparine, you can get it by itself, or like I said, good supplements already have it in it. Enough about that, bioparine. Um, zinc, like I mentioned. One thing is the absorption of zinc that is um, a topic of conversation all the time. One of the really good ways to help your body absorb zinc is animal products meat. So if you're going to be taking a zinc supplement, one thing of note too, don't take zinc on an empty stomach. You will throw up. You will get sick. Um, I've even taken, like this morning I took one, um, because we're kind of like battling with, uh, we're not getting sick. We're not getting sick, but we're battling it right now. Um, I, it's my, my little one, my six-year-old makes scrambled eggs all by herself now. Awesome. So she made up a bunch of scrambled eggs. I, you know, had some and it wasn't enough because I started feeling like I was gonna throw up. So be careful, make sure you eat it on a full stomach. So eat your meal, have some good, um, some good vegetables, some good meat, some good healthy carbs like potatoes, stuff like that, maybe some fruit, and then take your zinc. That's really good. Okay, um, ginger. Ginger um, helps decrease inflammation which is, you know, that causes different kinds of problems and different issues. So it's a really good supplement to take, ginger. Uh, next one is a no-brainer, everybody knows, vitamin C. But what you don't know, a lot of people think citrus fruits. I'm gonna give you a little uh, awesome hint here. A lot of people think, you know, vitamin C supplements or uh, citrus fruits have the best amount of vitamin C. No, it doesn't. I got something here for you that is three times the amount of vitamin C as a Florida orange. Yes, what is it? Red bell peppers. No kidding, it has three times the amount of vitamin C as an orange. So pick yourself up some red bell peppers or grow some. Red bell peppers, orange bell peppers, yellow bell peppers are green bell peppers just allowed to come to maturity more. It's the same plant, the same vegetable. So red bell peppers. All right, another good one, a family favorite, is elderberry. Elderberry syrup, um, fresh elderberries, elderberry whatever, elderberries. It's a super food, you know, that term that loves to be thrown around nowadays. Lots of antioxidants. Anything with antioxidants, you know, blueberries, acai, lots of different things. Um, I mentioned in the video I did a couple days ago. Oh, that's another thing. By the way, let me mention that really quick. It's been a couple days since I did a video because, um, We've been going through some stuff with me and my family, my wife's health, and so I haven't really felt like doing a video. I haven't been mentally able to think about YouTube. So if you could send some thoughts and or prayers her way and for our family, I'd really appreciate it. Yes, so I mentioned that it was a couple days ago. It was my last video. Um, next one is peppermint, peppermint tea or just peppermint. Um, you can put peppermint in your food. You can make tea out of it. Lots of, uh, um, as, as far as I know, I, I, I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure what it is, it's antifungal um, is what uh, um, peppermint has in it, but there, there may be other things also. I forget, I'm not perfect. Um, all right, so peppermint tea is really good. And the, the water and the warmth and everything like that, just, you know, it's really good for you. Just take some time, have some herbal tea, um, a lot of it's just the fact that you're sitting down and relaxing while you're drinking it. So that's part of it also. Um, did I, I forget if I mentioned sleep. I think I missed sleep. Sleep was supposed to be number two. Get proper sleep, of course. 
and take naps. If your body is telling you that you're tired and or you're starting to get sick or you already are sick, take lots of naps. Just give your body what it needs. Take a break. Sometimes you gotta do it. You gotta stop, slow down, take a break. All right, so the next one is yogurt and or probiotics. You see those little, like the little um, things in the little plastic at the store, um, like probiotic supplements? Those are really good, but yogurt also has probiotics in it. And that's really good for your gut health because your gut really controls a lot of things in your body. And if you have a proper um, gut biome, then um, that is very important for your overall health. So make sure, um, and one thing, whenever you're taking antibiotics, if you need to, because say you really get sick or something like that, make sure you restore your gut biome as soon as possible with probiotics because the antibiotics kill the other biotics in your gut. So make sure you repl replenish your gut biome as soon as possible after taking antibiotics. Um, and speaking of antibiotics, really good to have on hand so if you do get really sick. Um, and another thing is um, uh, children's Tylenol. If you have children, oh my gosh, that has been a godsend for my family and I. We, you know, I have my little one, my six-year-old, at a 99.4 temperature just a little while ago, an hour or so ago. Um, my 14-year-old had a 100.4, and that stuff, oh man, it works. It does. We always make sure we have lots of that on hand. Um, okay. These, this next one is, these next two things are things you eat that will help you and are just overall good for you. And that's broccoli and spinach. Both of them, the, the least amount of cooking that you can possibly do and still eat it, the better for the nutrient value. If you can eat it raw, great. For a long time, a lot of my life, I was really into athletics. I was a cross country and track runner. I played soccer. I was a long distance runner, all this stuff like that. Military, wanting to be fit and everything. I have eaten a lot of foods over my life, a lot of broccoli and spinach and other things like that, that I don't like the taste of it, like kale. I eat it because it's good for me. If you can get in that mindset, wow, good. So broccoli, speaking of broccoli, I didn't write the stats down for spinach, but I'll talk about broccoli. It has vitamin A, C, E, and fiber and antioxidants. So that's really good. Um, and like I said, if you can eat it raw, that's, that's the best. Next one is, and we're getting close to the cool one, we're getting close to the special one. Um, turmeric is a natural immune booster and antiviral. And a side note for turmeric, if you are into um, fitness and into working out, turmeric does definitely help the um, rebuilding and or um, healing of muscular damage due to working out, due to fitness. So if you're into fitness and working out, take turmeric. It'll cut your recovery time down and you'll be able to work out more. So turmeric is really good for that. All right, let's get to our family favorite. I will set my notes down because I don't need any notes for this one. Our family favorite. Oh shoot, I was gonna bring one out here to show you guys. Um, well, you guys, you guys will understand the picture. Um, okay, garlic and honey. Garlic, that's why I skipped garlic to, the, to this point now. Garlic is amazing and it might help your immune system. <laughs> garlic is awesome. It's my favorite spice, it's my favorite flavoring and it is so good for you. So what we do, um, I forget, I think I might have just talked about it in the other video the other day, but I want to mention it again because this is really important. Um, we get a mason jar, we get the, uh, you know, cloves of garlic, already, you know, peeled cloves of garlic, um, get them already peeled at Costco, big bags of them, or um, get garlic and peel them yourself, whatever. Fill it up about, you know, three quarters of the way, maybe um, uh, six sevenths of the way, whatever, almost to the top. You know, leave about that much space. And then fill that up with the garlic cloves. Then take local, natural, raw honey. Very important. Local honey, if you have um, allergies, is great for allergies. But it's gotta be local because it's coming from the plants in your local area that are causing your allergies in your location. So that's important. 
raw honey is the best for you anyway in organic why not um, I know the FDA certified organic that's a bunch of BS but you know whatever okay and then what you do is you take that uh, and you you fill the jar up with honey um, not all the way still leave you know a little bit of space at the top to burp it because it will ferment over time and the um, the garlic will become less potent tasting but um, the medicinal value of it will go up and the honey gets kind of watered down it kind of like uh, it becomes more like a watery instead of like pour like a oil like a thick thickness the viscosity of it changes um, but overall take a couple scoops of the honey take a bunch of those cloves of garlic and just eat it anytime you feel anything coming on like you're starting to get maybe you have some sniffles or you just any indication take a big spoonful of that if you really feel like you're getting on with things um, take them you know several times a day a bunch of times a day it's not going to hurt you um, don't take the whole jar at once who knows maybe it would hurt you but anyway um, that's our family favorite and then what you do is you burp it um, usually at, at first for about the first week uh, or two maybe you got to burp it like twice a day um, because it is fermenting and no it's not alcohol fermentation it does not turn into any form of alcohol um, the longer you keep it also on your shelf in your counter in your pantry whatever the better it will be um, and it reduce like I said it's you know have you ever eaten a raw garlic clove how whoa that's like strong no it makes it so so much toned down where you can actually like eat it um, and then yeah so and then burp once you don't need to burp it twice a day just burp it once a day for about a month maybe a month and a half and then just leave it on the counter leave it in your pantry make up several jars of it at a time um, that way you can rotate through it and whenever you get start to finish one make a new one and then leave them we have jars up there that are two three years old and we use from them first and wow it's good stuff so anyway I love you guys thank you very much for being here um, I hope you guys are watching these good videos the real prepping videos those are the kind of videos I want to produce it's just reaching people is important also so I, I hope that you know if you can drag somebody in with a little bit of you know all oh, this stuff then they'll stick around for this kind of stuff for the real important stuff so please watch the videos give other channels out there that are actually putting out real tangible preparedness information give them love also I love you guys have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours